bless you, family. Pastor Fields, Agape Worldwide Ministries. Amen. We greet you in the matchless name of Jesus. Amen. We are doing our reboot to our noonday prayer. And we're just grateful to you for being with us. Amen. For this noonday hour. Amen. It's been a minute. Amen. But we are here to celebrate. Amen. This 2018, this new year, God has blessed us to enter into. Amen. And to honor him and to give him glory, honor and praise for the things that he has done. Great is the Lord and he's worthy to be praised. And so we're just grateful to the Lord for a brand new year. He's unwrapped a brand new year. It's a new season. Israel sing the song. It's a new day. Hallelujah. And so we're just grateful to God for the things that he has done for this new season. 2018 amen new year january first month of the year and our first noonday prayer of 2018 amen facebook family you can send in your prayer requests amen on um in the inbox amen and just in your comment section uh give me your prayer request for today amen hallelujah and we're gonna be praying for you we're gonna read from um, our daily bread we read from our daily bread for our tuesday noonday prayer amen if you look under today's date which is january amen tuesday january the 9th amen hallelujah and uh the subject today is uh stones remembered amen stones remembered hallelujah thank you jesus i'm gonna get my amen my script here so i can read the disclaimer i wrote to uh to our daily bread and ask them if I could use, amen, the the reader, amen, so I can hear. Thank you, guys. I wasn't ready. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Excuse me. Let me make my adjustments. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And so, um, <laughs> so I asked them if I could use their reader, their online reader. Hallelujah. Amen. And so they gave me permission to do so amen and so we just thank god for being able to use that amen in the name of jesus and so i'm going to ask you to um go to again uh tuesday january 9th stones of remembrance amen and this is taken from our daily bread copyright 2018 by our daily bread ministries uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan, 49512, and it is used by permission, all rights reserved. God's faithfulness in the past reminds us to trust Him in the present. Our Daily Bread. Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Amy Peterson. Amy writes, Some mornings when I go online, Facebook shows me memories things I've posted on that day in previous years. These memories, such as photos from my brother's wedding or a video of my daughter playing with my grandmother, usually make me smile. But sometimes they have a more profound emotional effect. When I see a note about a visit to my brother-in-law during his chemotherapy or a picture of the staples across my mother's scalp after brain surgery three years ago, I'm reminded of God's faithful presence during difficult circumstances. These Facebook memories nudge me towards prayer and gratitude. All of us are prone to forget things God has done for us. We need reminders. When Joshua led God's people towards their new home, they had to cross the Jordan River. God parted the waters, and his people walked through on dry land. To create a memorial of this miracle, they took 12 stones from the middle of the riverbed and stacked them on the other side. When others asked what the stones meant, God's people would tell the story of what God had done that day. Physical reminders of God's faithfulness in the past can remind us to trust Him in the present and with the future. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Joshua chapter 3, verse 14 through chapter 4, verse 7. So when the people broke camp to cross the Jordan, the priest carrying the Ark of the Covenant went ahead of them. Now the Jordan is at flood stage all during harvest. Yet as soon as the priests who carried the ark reached the Jordan and their feet touched the water's edge, the water from upstream stopped flowing. It piled up in a heap a great distance away at a town called Adam in the vicinity of Zarathan, 
while the water flowing down to the Sea of the Araba, that is, the Dead Sea, was completely cut off. So the people crossed over opposite Jericho. The priests who carried the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord stopped in the middle of the Jordan and stood on dry ground, while all Israel passed by until the whole nation had completed the crossing on dry ground. When the whole nation had finished crossing the Jordan, the Lord said to Joshua, Choose twelve men from among the people, one from each tribe, and tell them to take up twelve stones from the middle of the Jordan, from right where the priests are standing, and carry them over with you, and put them down at the place where you stay tonight. So Joshua called together the twelve men he had appointed from the Israelites, one from each tribe, and said to them, Go over before the ark of the Lord your God into the middle of the Jordan. Each of you is to take up a stone on his shoulder, according to the number of the tribes of the Israelites, to serve as a sign among you. In the future, when your children ask you, What do these stones mean? Tell them that the flow of the Jordan was cut off before the ark of the covenant of the Lord. When it crossed the Jordan, the waters of the Jordan were cut off. These stones are to be a memorial to the people of Israel forever. That's today's scripture reading from Joshua chapter 3, verse 14, through chapter 4, verse 7. Amen. We are grateful to the Lord for that uh, lesson. Amen. Stones of remembrance. Amen. As a memorial, as a remembrance, amen, of what God has done for us. Amen. For the children of Israel, when he did, amen, uh, miraculous things, amen, they would make memorials and put up, amen, stones and pillars, amen, crossing the Red Sea, whatever it may be, amen, hallelujah, they would, amen, put in remembrance, amen, hallelujah, hallelujah. And so uh, the Mount of Transfiguration, when Jesus Amen. Was transfigured and they saw Elijah and they saw Moses and they saw Jesus. And amen. The disciples said, I'm going to build a amen temple for amen Moses and Elijah. Amen. And then they disappeared. And a voice came from heaven saying, This is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. Hallelujah. Amen. In other words, it's all about Jesus. Oh, it is Jesus in my soul. Amen. And so uh, we have to pe- keep in remembrance and remembrance amen what the lord has done for us it is he that has made us and not we ourselves we are his people we are the sheep of his pasture we enter his gates with thanksgiving we enter his course with praise hallelujah we're thankful unto him and we bless his name and fortunately for us he has taken it off the stones and the tablets and off the pillars hallelujah and he's written it on the tables of our heart and so no longer, as he, as he told Mary, no longer will I be with you, but I'll be in you. I'm going to be in you. I'm going to be with you. Hallelujah. Through the spirit of God, you can't touch me because I haven't ascended to my father. Hallelujah. But I'm going to come back. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to return. Amen. Hallelujah. Through the spirit, I'm going to send my spirit to be in you. You have the spirit of God down on the inside of us. Amen. It isn't a wonderful thing. Isn't it isn't a beautiful thing to know uh, not only that we can read the scriptures, that we can hear the stories about what he did for Israel, what he did for others. Amen. We can read those stories, but we also can experience it personally. Amen. Our remembrance is the Holy Spirit, that same spirit that moved upon the face of the waters. Amen. The separated the land from sea, sea, sky from earth. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So we thank God for that same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. That shall also quicken our mortal bodies. We have the spirit of God. We have his remembrance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He didn't forget us. Hallelujah. He didn't cast us aside. He created us in his image and in his likeness. God is eternal. Hallelujah. He, he, he won't fail. And so we're thanking God that we can have the power of God. We can have the presence of God. Hallelujah. We can have the anointing that breaks the yoke. We can have, amen, what we need to sustain us in this life because we have him. Amen. We have God down on the inside. We have his spirit down on the inside of our soul. So it's important for us as believers to understand that God is with us. Yea, though I walk through the valley, the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for thou art with me. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thy rod, thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemy. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Hallelujah. I and him and him and me. Hallelujah. Us, us communing together, living together. As so shall we ever be with the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Just trusting and believing in him because he's our Lord and he is our God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Who have believed the report? Ah, God, he's been here. How to, over there in John, it said, Jesus, you give record of yourself. Hallelujah. Your record is not true. He said, not only is my record is true, my, fa be, my father give record of me. Hallelujah. You just haven't believed the report. To whom have the arms of the Lord been revealed? And so we got to believe. We got to remember. Always remember. Jesus, Jesus, always keep him on your mind. Amen. Don't forget. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. John P. Keith on the song. Never shall forget what you've done for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we just thank God that we can't forget what you've done. The wicked shall be thrown into hell and they that forget and all the nations that forget God. So don't forget. He healed 10. One came back to say thank you. So he made that one whole. He made them whole because he came back to say thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. It could have been me. Hallelujah. Outdoors, no food, no clothes, all lost and alone without a friend. Ah, uh, just another number with a tragic end. But you didn't see fit to let none of these things be. But every day by your power, you keep on keeping. I got to say thank you, Lord. For all, I remember, hallelujah, what you did. You brought me out of darkness. You brought me into this marvelous light. You filled me with the Holy Ghost. You filled me with the power I never experienced before. I tried drugs. I tried this. I tried that. Hallelujah. But greater love, hallelujah, has no man than this. The man laid down his life for a friend. You had the best love. Hallelujah. You had the best joy in the presence of the Lord. It's the fullness of joy. And at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Hallelujah. So we are just thanking God and praising him hallelujah, for the things that he has done. And we're thanking God that we can have this first noonday prayer 2018. Hallelujah. Coming from Agape Worldwide Ministries. And we thanking God for you being with us today. Hallelujah. Remember, my brothers, remembers my sister. Remember, my sister. Hallelujah. Remember, young people. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's what Deuteronomy was for. Hallelujah. It was for the young people. Hallelujah. The second law. They had to give it again to them because the previous generation had passed out of disobedience, out of their stubbornness, unwilling to yield to the will of God and the, and the laws of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And so that's, that's what Deuteronomy was all about. He had a Bible class with the young people. Hallelujah. Amen. All those that were younger, hallelujah, 39 and under 40 and above had left here. Hallelujah. Except Joshua and hallelujah and Caleb. And Moses, but he was about to he was about to die then. Amen. Hallelujah. But before he left, he left a word. He left the understanding of the will of God to his people. Amen. Hallelujah. How to amen conduct themselves in the promised land. Get out of the wilderness, saints. Hallelujah. Get out of the wilderness. Get out of bondage in Egypt. Hallelujah. And walk into your promised land. Hallelujah. And learn how to conduct yourself in that promised land. And because God has given us everything uh, and, and given us the ability to obtain wealth and retain the wealth. Amen. It's not by amen. Hallelujah. Going on a show or inventing a product. It's, a, it's, it's by being obedient to whatever the Lord say. As Murray said at the wedding, whatever he say, do it. Amen. Do what the Lord say. You're going to prosper. You're going to have good success. If you obey him, if you're willing and obedient, you should eat the good of the land. If you rebuke and rebel, you shall be devoured with sword. Amen. Hallelujah. So thank you, family. We're not going to keep you today. I, I just wanted to come back on and let's get this thing started again. Amen. Hallelujah. And I just I'm so grateful to all your prayers and well wishes to the family and friends and everybody. Amen. And the loss of my father. Amen. And the, and, and the family. Thanks you. And I'll tell you that Salisbury, North Carolina is a wonderful city. That's a wonderful area and great pastor, Pastor Mason, Pastor Turner. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Pastor Emeritus, he's retired. 
but they ain't stopped. Mother Turner and all the family, and all the different churches, amen, hallelujah, that participated, hallelujah, amen, Pastor Long and, and some other pastors and leaders, amen, hallelujah, and Pastor Annie Smith, amen, hallelujah, and we just thank God for all those Amen. Uh, great churches and uh, that work together. They work so well together down there. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, it was a good thing to see. Amen. It was a blessing just to see the love and support that came from uh, Antioch family came down and amen. And Bishop Logan and, and the family, amen. And Bishop White and all those, amen. And, and, and the pastors and Pastor Angelo and all the pastors and leaders and everybody that came down to support. We're thankful to you, amen, for all the things that you've done. The choir that sung and they combined and worked together. Choir from down there and our choir, they combined, never met each other, but they combined. That's how it's going to be when we get to heaven. Hallelujah. What a day of rejoicing that shall be. When we all see Jesus, we will sing and shout the victory. So uh, thank you, friends and family. God bless you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, uh, we, our schedule, we're getting our schedule worked up for 2018. Amen. Certainly tomorrow, noonday prayer. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, tomorrow night at Bible class, Agape Love Bible class. We will be broadcasting again tomorrow night. Amen. At 7 p.m. and tomorrow at 12 noon for noonday prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. So join us. Amen. Put in your prayer request. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And we're going to pray for you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you. Heaven smile upon you in Jesus name. We love you. Hallelujah. We thank God for you. Keep us in prayer as we pray for you. Hallelujah. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Our closing scripture as we get ready to pray. Father, we just thank you for uh, this day that you have made, we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you for the family and friends and everyone that has gathered, everyone that's viewing this, that's listening to this. Lord God, we speak healing. We send our condolences out to the Bailey family in their loss. Lord God, we send our condolences out to the Ward family in their loss. Lord God, and all the bereaved, amen, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And and and, and if it's confirmed, amen, we want you to send, we send out our love and condolence to those who have lost loved ones. Hallelujah. I don't want to say a name and they, the person's still here. Amen. Hallelujah. But I heard, but I don't know for sure. So Lord, I'm just asking you, I don't know where I'm sending you there. Hallelujah. Amen. And bless and touch and deliver that family, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, those that are out in the cold and dealing with this inclement weather, Lord Jesus, it warmed up today, Lord God, but they had to deal with some bitterly cold weather. And Lord God, we ask you bless touching those unemployed, those looking for work. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, those that stand in need, need bills paid. Hallelujah. The light bill do gas bill too. Lord God, we ask you to touch and deliver right now in the name of Jesus. Lord God, people are really going through struggle. Hallelujah. Some people are on the mountaintop. Some people are doing well. And we thank you for them as well, God. Hallelujah. We thank you for every blessing that you bestowed upon your people. But Lord God, we ask you to bless those that's downtrodden. Lord God, those that's broken hearted. Lord God, hallelujah. We ask you to touch and deliver right now. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In this new season, in this new year, unwrap a brand new gift. Lord God, a brand new blessing to your people. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Bless us and we shall be blessed. Keep us and we shall be kept. These and all blessings we ask in Jesus' name. Lord, bless Agape. Bless this family. Bless the church. Lord God, help us to get to that new level in you, Lord God. Help us to be obedient to your word and with your will and your way. Help us to work together as a people of God. Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let us all speak the same thing, your thing. Let us and let there be no division among us, but let us be perfectly joined together in the same mind, your mind, and in the same judgment, your judgment. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Thank you, God. We thank you. Hospitals, prisons, institutions, Lord God, wherever they may be, convalescent at home, Lord God, wherever it may be, Lord God, wherever they may be, Lord God, we ask your blessings, the blessings of the Lord that maketh rich and addeth no sorrow to it. Lord God, we thank you. We praise and magnify your holy name. These and all blessings we ask in Jesus Christ's name. I pray. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. And amen. Amen. God bless you, family. We love you in Jesus name again. Thank you for joining us. Amen. For this noonday prayer or whenever you're, you're on this. Amen. Thank you so much for this prayer and hey, joining us in prayer. Put in your prayer request. We got it on Facebook. We got a noonday prayer page. Hallelujah. And so you can click on noonday prayer. You'll see the agape symbol with the heart and the cross in the middle. That's us. Amen. And so just put that in there and 
and um, and put in your prayer request and we can read off your request. Or if it's unspoken, just put down unspoken and I won't call out anybody's name. It's just a prayer request. Amen. Hallelujah. And so we can know what we pray for as we ought. Amen. In the name of Jesus. So thank you so much. God bless you. See you tomorrow, 12 noon. Amen. Again, amen. Agape, real love, real people, real church. Our closing scripture, first Timothy, first chapter, 17 verse. Now to the king eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God be honor and glory forever and ever. Let the church say, amen. Hug somebody. Tell them that you love them. This is the Agape way. God bless you in Jesus name. Agape Worldwide Ministries and Pastor Renzo James Fields invite you to come worship with us in Springfield, Virginia. We're located 7240 FNG Boudinot Drive in Springfield, Virginia. Call 703-372-1174. Agape Worldwide Ministries. Real love, real people, real church.